Welcome to the 2009 St. Piran's Day celebration in Second Life. I am delighted to be joined here by the builder of this wonderful virtual museum and our host today, Ethelred Weatherwax. Hello. Hello, Ethelred. It's good to see you again. Well, same to you. We are talking here at the Virtual St. Piran's Museum in Second Life. I am in England, but you are in the United States. How did you become so interested in this Cornish church? Well, my interest in this church is due to my great-uncle's involvement back in the 1920s. Uh, my great-uncle was T.F.G. Dexter. Uh, he was my grandfather's oldest brother. And he was a, a schoolmaster in London, but after he retired, he moved to Cornwall. And he became quite a Cornwall historian. He wrote several books about Cornwall and early Britain. And he also excavated the second church of St. Piran, uh, back in the early 1920s. And so the, the model that we're standing in front of is the, the first church, or, or St. Piran's Oratory, uh, and that was excavated by others back in the earlier mid-1800s. You've created a wonderful virtual museum here, but what has been your experience in using Second Life as a tool for content design? Well, I've, I've found Second Life to be an effective testing ground for developing museum exhibits. Um, I created a Second Life exhibit for my own hometown museum in Wisconsin, in America. Um, and uh, shortly after I completed the Second Life exhibit, our museum board decided to turn some unused space in our museum into additional exhibit space. And I simply took the exhibit I'd already created in Second Life and reproduced it in the real world. And, and to everyone's amazement and joy, I had the whole exhibit done within a week. Um, simply because the, most of the work had already been done in Second Life. You mentioned there how you transferred a museum exhibit from Second Life to the real world with great success. What are your thoughts on real world museums and their communities using Second Life? There are many reasons for a, a real world museum to be involved in Second Life. Uh, and then you know, particularly here in, in Cornwall, uh, it's just a small corner of Britain but there are Cornish people who have settled all over the world, anywhere where there were mines. In fact, the earliest settlers in my home state of Wisconsin were Cornish miners uh, who settled in, uh, to mine lead in the southwestern part of the state. And then a few decades later, there was uh, discoveries of iron ore and copper in the northern part of the state, and another wave of Cornish miners came over. Um, so the, the museum here in Second Life is a way for the, the Cornish people all over the world to celebrate a little of their heritage. It's been really interesting hearing about your work here and taking a tour around the Virtual St. Piran's Museum. Thank you for your time, Ethelred. Should we get back to the dancing? Sure, that would be great. I think people are waiting for us. <laughs> 